Welcome back aliens, my name is Lavin Vetti and in this video we'll focus on math package. In fact, we have seen a different package earlier. We have talked about FMT using which you can print, uh, you can print something on the console. So it has multiple functions. So when you say FMT and dot, you can see we have so many options here. Uh, we have used one of the function which is print ln. We can also use scan ln to uh, take the input. And then there are different methods available. In the same way, if you want to use something else, if you want to use some more functions, we have to import those packages. Now in this video, we'll focus on math function. Example, let's say you want to find a square root of a number and of course you have to use a math package. Uh, maybe you want to find a power, then you can use a math package. Uh, so if you want to, let's say if, if I have a number here, I will just go up and I will say uh, we have a number and I will say num colon equal to and number is let's say nine. I want to find a square root of this. Uh, yes, you can do it manually as well. So you can use your own logic and you can find a square root and I would suggest you do that first. But then what if you want to use inbuilt function and that's where you have to use a function called SQRT. Now SQRT will give you a square root of a number. But then oh, you have to pass the value as well. So I'm passing nine and it will return something. But then it is not openly available, right? If you want to use this function, you have to import the package and the package name is math. So you have to just go up here and then uh, since we are using multiple packages, so I will just open that and I will close it here. Okay, so we have to add a package which is math. So in double quotes, you can mention math. So you don't have to put any comma or something, just give enter and mention the package name. And now in your code, you have a math package available. In fact, the moment I click on save, you will get error. Uh, so you can see the moment I say save, uh, I got the error plus we have uh, we lost that package and that's that's the thing with uh, with go right so in fact vs code i have added some plugins in vs code the moment you type start typing something it will give you pop-ups of uh, plugins uh, just install them it will help you in coding as well uh, so you can see it is removing the math package because when you say you are importing a package and if you're not using it your vs code will say hey uh, let's remove that but again that's a go feature so if you want to use a math package you need to use it in the code as well so here to use SQRT, we have to use a math package. So you have to say math.sqrt and you can see there's no error now, but then instead of sending nine, we have to send num, right? That's why we have created that variable uh, and we got an error. The thing is, uh, when you talk about square root, it only works with float numbers. So, so if you want to pass the input, you have to pass float uh, you can't pass int. By default is int, right? So manually what we will do is we'll define this as a float. So I will say var num and to define the type of it, you have to say float uh, 64. Now that's a float number and you can now you can see you can pass it in SQRT. But of course this will return something so we can take in a variable. So let's say result is equal to and so you got your output in, in result now, but we got an error. It says result declare yeah, because we are not using it. So let's use it. Let's print the output of it. So we'll say print uh, FMT print ln and then I will pass result and that's it that's so simple right so that's how you can use math function and then to, to execute this code I will go back here and I will say go run telescope.go and you can see we got an error so we have to first navigate to desktop so now let's execute the code uh, I'm in desktop now and you can see we got the output which is telescope because we are printing that here uh, we can remove that we are not using that anyway and you can see we are getting output which is three so of course if you run this code now it will not print the disco it will only print three so that's why that's how we got the square root uh, in fact you can find the square root of any number it's not just it should be perfect square you can find of 12 and let's go back here run and you can see we got 3.4 and then it's a big number okay but but what if you want to if you don't want to print the entire string i mean you want to have the uh, floating point till two so after point, I want to print only two values. In that case, we can do that provided we are using printf. Because if you want to specify uh, the format, you have to use printf instead of print uh, println. And of course, if you are coming from C background, you know what I'm talking about. Right in C, we do use printf. In fact, in Java as well, we have printf, printf option. You can use that. So here, I, do, I want to print result, but we can't directly print result there. So you have to print a format first. Uh, so you can type extra string if you want. You can say the output is or something. But as of now, let's not do that. I just want to print the output, right? Uh, so you have to give double quotes comma and you have to mention the variable name, which is, which is result. Now in this double quotes, it's not, it should not be empty, right? There should be a purpose for it. This is where you have to specify the placeholder. 
Now, why do we need placeholder? So there are two, two reasons for this. One, uh, you can specify at what point you want to print result. So example, let's say you want to print the output is this, thank you. So you're printing your output in between. In double quotes, you can mention the placeholder. So what I'm saying is I can say the output is, and then here we'll print the output. And after that, we'll also print thank you. So I want to print my output here, right? So that's a placeholder. And second is you can also mention the type of data you want to print. For different type, we have integer, float, we can, uh, we can mention the type here. Now, since we are working with float, uh, you can go with F or you can go with G. Uh, let's go with G, which provides better position. And so this should work. Let's go back and run. And you can see we got the output is and then the output and we got thank you. But then I want to print only the point to decimals, right? In that case, you have to say point two. So point two simply means after point, you will get two decimals. So I will just go back and run. And yeah, can you see that we got it? It's just that it is rounding it off and we got 3.5. So and if I use F, and when you use F, you will get the exact point, which is 3.46. So yeah, that's how we can uh, we can use uh, we can use printf and you can print the format. So of course, if you have integer numbers, you have to use something else. And if you want to get more idea, you can just go to this website, which is golang.org, and you can find the FMT package, which has uh, so you can see we have all these placeholders here. So this is basically formatted input output. Uh, so we can use uh, t for boolean so if you have if you have boolean value we can use t there uh, if you have integer normally we use d uh, if you're coming from c language which is for base 10 but what if you want to go for base 8 which is octal if you want to go for base 2 which is binary in this case you will use per, uh, percentage b and then percentage o uh, if for floating values we can use f which is for decimal point but no exponent yeah that's we can use and then if you have the bigger number and then if you so you, you can use G there if you have a you know, very, very big number. And yeah, so that's uh, we can use. In fact, we'll talk about pointers later. So we have all those formats and we can use them. Now, can we use something else from this package? Maybe I want to use uh, something called float function and seal function. So example, let's say if you have a value which is 3.4. Uh, so when we say round, so normally we round off numbers, right? So when it is 3.4, we say 3. And when it is 3.6, we say 4, right? That's what we do. Uh, but what if you want to get the float value? So it doesn't matter if you pass 3.9 as well, you will get 3 because you're getting the float value. So we have float, we have seal. Uh, so even if when you say 3.1 and if you apply a seal function, it will just go up for 4. Uh, so to achieve that in this, what I will do is uh, for the result, of course, I want to apply uh, the flow. So I will say result equal to, and then I want to apply seal or seal or float. I mean, I will say. Maybe I just want integer values. So here I will say result. Instead of result, I will say int result. And then here we can say, uh, we can apply the floor function. So I can say math dot. Let's, let's start with round first. I will say round. And in bracket, you have to pass result. So this will round it off and it will give you the integer value. And then instead of uh, result, I will say int result. So instead of result, we can say int result. And let's run this code now. Let's run. And you can see we got the output. So we got a... Uh, we got round off. So 4.3.4 is 3, right? When you say round off. And of course, if it has different value, so let's say uh, I want to find the square root of 19. In this case, uh, you can see we got 4. Uh, is it 4? It should be, uh, let's, let's, let's say 24. Then it should be it should be five, right? So that's the round off it will it will do. But what if you want don't want the round off? You want to go for seal a uh, float or seal. In that case, instead of using round function, which will which is rounding it off, we'll use seal. So seal will just go up. So of course it will give the same answer, which is four, which is five, uh, because it is going up. And then you can you can also use float, which will give you the bottom value, which is four. So in math package, we have so many functions available. Just try them out and that's how you can use different packages and you can perform the operation. So I hope you are enjoying this series. Let me know in the comment section and do subscribe for further videos. Bye-bye.